Doesn't feel drastically Actually, different. The, the tank, eh? Doesn't feel dr I feel more in it. Yeah. I, I, it's a, I think yeah, the you're tank a bit, feels low, uh, like more in. I do think it's a little bit lower. And your feet look a bit further back. Yeah, they gonna, are. It's going to be subtle. I mean, my feet aren't big and they're touching that. But I suppose you ride naked bikes like that, don't you? But well, on the back brake, yeah. Feel different? Yeah, it's. The, I'm sure the previous one was a bit. Maybe it's a little but, bit but, more. Hi there and welcome to Knox. We're back on the Yamaha stand and this is our first look at the new 2024 MT-09 and the MT-09 SP. So Ollie, look, this is a banging bike. Yeah, you know, the, at least the the one that we tested a year or so ago yeah. in yeah. the MT09 SP was Definitely. absolutely awesome. <laughs> the big assumption here is mm. that they haven't cocked it up yeah, because, yeah, yeah. well, they, they just won't have done. This is an amazing Definitely. Yamaha motorcycle, um, but they've given it some tweaks, haven't they? Yeah. Starting with the big thing that we see at the headlight. front. Headlight, yeah, it's yeah. a fourth generation bike. They've changed the headlight quite a lot since its first sort of introduction. I think the second gen was probably the best looking one. They've gone with this sort of twin LED uh, daytime running light and then the LED in the middle. I think it's an improvement over the last one. They're, they're taking a step forward with the sort of ergonomics of it and making it look different and new. Um, I, I like it. It looks cool. Well, just to um, talk about that for a second, it's probably the most polarizing point of any like naked bike is <laughs> yeah, the is. Yamaha MT range front end, you yeah. know. It's the like, first thing Everybody's talk got about. an opinion about it. When yeah. the, the one that was predecessor to this came out, everyone's like, oh no, I hate it, no, yeah. I hate it. Yeah. Actually, I grew to quite like it. Yeah. What yeah. I didn't like was the way that they were finishing all the wiring Underneath. off on the previous generation. Yeah. Have to say, they've massively improved that. So rather than just duct taping stuff, they've actually shrink uh, wrapped it in a much nicer material. For me, sure. the whole front of the bike is much cleaner now. Mm. Um, I think this is an optional extra, which I'm not sure. too much of a fan and of. These but busters. yeah, it's, um, it's funny though because whenever you change something, I remember on the 2015 R1 when they that came out, people hated the front of that. Everybody loves it now. You know, yeah, it takes yeah, time. Yeah. It's that kind of thing with the MT09, but it's a good improvement. Other than that, they've introduced a five-inch TFT dash. They have changed the ergonomics. They've adjusted the position of the tank. It sits different. You know, the, the pegs are slightly higher and slightly further back, not massively different. And the handlebars are lower, aren't and they? And the bars are slightly low, exactly, yeah. They've also taken the switch gear off the... Which is given it when GT you plus. sit on it. I don't know what your opinion of yep. uh, when you sat on it, but mm. I felt it was a bit more sporty. Yeah, yeah, it is uh, more you sporty. You can definitely feel that over the predecessor. I think that's a good thing for this, yeah. for this bike because I think it brings it closer to some of the competitors like the 890 Duke and so on. For sure. I don't think it's quite as aggressive still as that 890 Duke. No, I mean, yet, but, it, will, um, it will probably uh, improve the stability of it. If you're in it, you're slightly lower down. I don't know, you probably feel part of the bike a bit more. You know, when you're on the tank, it is, I don't know, you feel part of the bike um, more so with this redesigned tank. Yeah, it's um, much more angular, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's yeah, nice, it it's, it's cool. really nice. I like it. I don't know about the, these wind guards, but nah, I suppose man, if you're doing are, a bit of mileage on it, but... These are floppy as... <laughs> floppy as floppy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just floppy. Floppy as Flopsy from... Flopsy the rabbit. From Flopsville. <laughs> right, let's, let's go and have a look at the MT-09 SP. Um, now, actually, there's a bit more going on with this bike. Yep. Which I think is really, really nice. Hmm. I think um, if you were going to go for it, you'd go for the SP. Yes. I think it's a couple of grand more, 15 million quid more maybe. Yeah. But it, you've got, um, well, they've added Stylema calipers, which is a massive uh, improvement over the Yamaha calipers. Obviously, Olin's front and back. On the SP model, you get um, this <laughs> keyless ignition, which 
we're sort allowed. of looks like a cooker hob hob yeah, <laughs> it does i mean you know look we're not trying to criticize stuff here but the first thing i said when i looked at this this keyless ignition was more like it just looks like my cooker, cooker hob, hob yeah um, which but, it, uh, honestly it, it yeah basically it is it's a cooker hob yeah yeah <laughs> but the, the strange thing is yeah it's it's keyless but the previous or the standard model doesn't come with keyless so we've with the SP, you're getting the Olins, you're getting this change in uh, style aesthetics. You know, you're getting the calipers, you're getting the keyless ignition and stuff. It's it's quite a lot extra for what you're paying, I think. Oh man, massively. Um, I mean, though, you know, the 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 Brembo calipers, that's a big step on, and they got a Brembo master cylinder. Yeah. So, uh, to be honest, is that semi pointless? We talk about this quite a bit on our channel. I feel <laughs> like, but. Unless yeah. Yamaha have actually sorted out the ABS uh, yeah. system, the the software that controls the braking setup, it, you know, is there really any point? I don't mm. know because actually I don't think the hardware, the braking hardware, is the big thing that holds Yamaha back with their braking. I actually it's think it's the ABS system, brain yeah. that is telling it what to do. Yeah. So whether they've put Brembo's on or not, it doesn't really matter. But if they have sorted that out, it'll yeah. make a big, big difference. I think for and sure. And it's I guess it's you've got to look at who's going to be riding these and how hard you're going to be riding them um sorry we're filming a piece sorry sorry just filming a piece oh we'll, <laughs> we'll just be two minutes we'll, two we'll, seconds. we'll be two minutes <laughs> average on the road you know you're gonna to have to be pulling stoppies skids and stuff for it to intervene or braking really hard that's average joe on but, the road I don't know about you mate average aaron on the road <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah exactly yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah no really nice bike i'd definitely go for the sp over the standard model always like this sort of r1m style uh, style to it um i think they've made a nice improvement for next year yeah me too i think this is a a, a absolutely banging motorcycle probably, probably the, the best naked engine yeah middleweight naked yeah. engine oh, i mean one of the most it's, fun it's bikes the most you can get. entertaining yeah. motorcycle isn't it 100 r1 electronics like just unbelievable amounts of fun on this motorcycle and yeah. some really nice updates new uh, styling from the front better hardware it's got a quick shifter up and down it's got this beautiful olin's gas rear shock yeah um, with all the adjustments on it yeah really smart and with Win the with the nice dash as well yeah. big thumbs up okay. okay really hope you've enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one